Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you want to see how I sublimated this coffee mug, then stay tuned. First, I open up the Silhouette Studio app on my computer. Once the app opens, I go up to the files icon and download the image that I want. Once the image uploads, it will appear much larger than the actual size that you need. So here's me just zooming out. So here I'm just minimizing the screen by pressing the minus icon, which is zoom out, just so I can make the image smaller. Once I have the image smaller, I'm going to press the plus icon to zoom back in. Now I'm just going to resize my image. I want the height to be 4.0 inches and the width 3.5 inches. Now I'm going to move the image to the far left corner so I can duplicate it three more times. This printing paper is very expensive so you will want to print as many images on one sheet as you can. So here I'm just making four because more than likely I'm going to make this mug several more times. So now we're going to go up to the top to the print icon. Now we're going to go to the bottom of the screen and hit print. My previous settings was on my Canon printer. So now I'm just going to change that to my sublimation printer. My print settings are already set in place. So now I'm going to go down and flip horizontally. You always want to flip your image when you're using a heat transfer image. So now it has sent over to my printer and it's printing. Now that the image has printed, we're going to turn on the Cricut Mug Press. Once the Cricut Mug Press has heated up, it's going to have a green indication light. As you can see, the image looks very dull, but once the heat transfer the image, that's when you'll see the big difference. Here I'm just cutting out each image and putting one to the side and put, putting the other three away. Here I'm just cutting close to the image so I don't have any harsh lines when I'm done pressing the coffee mug. So now I'm going to grab my lint roller to get off all of the dust or lint before I put my image on. Because, honey, you don't want to press your mug and it's lint on it. Because it will show up. Here I'm just lining up my image before I apply my heat resistant tape.
and make sure when you tape your image down you want to make your your paper as tight to the mug as possible otherwise you will get something that's called ghosting ghosting is when you have like white areas throughout your image And y'all, don't mind me. I use a whole lot of tape. I like to make sure my image is flat to the surface. The light just turned green on the mug press, which indicates that it's ready for pressing. And here I have butcher paper that I purchased off Amazon. I use butcher paper to protect the inside of my Cricut mug press from the ink that's on the image. Here you see me cutting the butcher paper so I can lay it on top of the coffee mug. Now I'm going to tape the butcher paper on top of the coffee mug over the image and everything using the heat resistant tape. Now I'm going to insert the mug inside of the mug press and push down the lever and hit the green indicator button. Here I grab my heat resistant glove because the mug is very, very hot once it's done.
Now that all of the white indicator lights are blinking, now the mug is ready to be taken out. You can actually see the image through the butcher paper, which I should have used two pieces of butcher paper, and you're going to see why in a minute. But as you can see, those colors are popping. You can see them through the, through the paper. So now I'm just going to peel away all the tape to get to the image. Oh wow, those colors are popping, honey. Oh yeah, now you see how the ink spread it a little bit? I think I should have used two pieces of butcher tape. I recently reset my printer settings with my colors and honey the colors are popping <laughs> sorry to say but the colors are popping now look at the sheet before how dull the color is and now look once it it transferred the colors are popping so i said all of that to say Stay tuned for the next video, and thanks for watching. Peace.